from the kick inside the 30, and he is tackled out of bounds. Approaching halftime, the score is still 14-7. Jefferson County, Jefferson County taking down Sneeze in this one, 21-7. They eliminate the Pirates for a second straight year from the tournament. Oh, no, that I, I mean, you could have seen that earlier in the year. Uh, the Pirates fell to Jefferson County as well. So I thought maybe Sneeds would have this one, but it looks like. Yeah. The Jefferson County is going to be moving on. So and Jefferson County moving on. Our local RA team eliminated there. Not great to see. No. But. Well, our last game of the night. All right. Now, this playoff game isn't the first one this team has hosted in school history. Not like Bozeman. But it's the first one they've hosted since 2010. That's nine years. It's a pretty long time, yes. right? So it's the Freeport Bulldogs hosting the Graceville Tigers. Good defense from Freeport to start off this matchup. They get a turnover on downs to give them the ball. And well, guess what, Emma? That sets things up for the quarterback, Keen Neal. He finds Hinkley here downfield, and he gets all the way to the three-yard line. Well, Neal says, guess what, Hinkley? I can handle this one, and he punches it in on the very next play. Bulldogs are up 6-0, but the Tigers, they don't take much time to tie things up in this one. Tigers a and us Myrick with a nice return here. It actually gets the Tigers downfield. And you've heard this name before. Jeremiah Castro takes it all the way to the house. Tigers tie things up at six apiece. And you know what, Emma? That's when things really get out of the hand for the Bulldogs in the first half here. Tigers defense forces Freeport to punt. But the punt is blocked. And Myrick again is going to be right here. There he is with that beautiful return for the Tigers. Now he gets all the way down to the three yard line. And guess what, Emma? Guess what? It's what? Castro <laughs> who will be the man uh, to finish the job. Oh, His second right. touchdown of the <laughs> night. And Castro gets the two point conversion as well on this one. So who, the Tigers go up. I don't know who, who that uh, is. Yeah, right? We've never heard his name before. <laughs> Tigers go up 14 to 6 and they keep on rolling. They are not finished yet. Myrick finally gets his own <laughs> score tonight. He pushes off some defenders there to punch it in from 19 yards out. Tigers lead 20 to 6 and Tigers are still not done. At least Castro is and he gets his third touchdown of the Ooh. night here running all over these Bulldogs. Tigers make it 26 to 6. There he is telling us no, no, no. You shush. I'm good. Freeport trying to make something get going here. They get down to the seven yard line, but pressure from those Tigers defense forces Neil to make a rash decision. It's caught in the end zone by Damone Robinson and it's Castro who really ends this half the right way, taking the ball the entire length of the field. That's 98 yards, people, 98 yards all the way to the end zone. And you know what? That would do it for the Tigers. They would win this one, obviously, 40 to 13. Wow. A dominant win by Graceville. They've won three in a row now. I saw them they down so good last weekend. And now, yeah, they had a great season to start out. I kind of had a lull, but now they're back on fire. 